What we're talking about today is, is marketing funnels, okay? Marketing funnels are ridiculously important. And we're not talking about like just click funnels or landing pages or Russell Brunson here. We're talking about marketing funnels, complete funnels that help you sell product, right? That's ultimately what it is. And why funnel? Why do we use the word funnel? All we care about really is sales and revenue and leads. Why do we need funnels? A funnel is not something to get all worried about or overhyped up about, right? A funnel is just basically something that helps get your customers from point A to point B as efficiently as possible. Because as a business, especially during the holiday seasons, we all face a very particular problem, okay? That problem is, it's a big leap for most customers to make from seeing us to just buying our products. There's certain things that need to happen in between that process to get people into the frame of mind where they're actually gonna buy a product, okay? That's, that's crucial. And so sales funnels basically allow us to take our customers by the hand and walk them down a path to where we need them to be, okay? So basically, during the holidays, it's crucial because there is so much competition in the marketplace. There's so many people competing for your prospect's attention. There's so many people selling things to everybody, everywhere. And so it's harder than ever because people are facing this you know, paralysis by analysis type situation. They're overwhelmed, they're busy, they're running around, the kids are in school, there's holiday events, there's parties, there's family, and now you're trying to sell them stuff. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to think in terms of funnels. So let's go into this a little bit. What is a funnel? Well, a funnel has a few stages. The last stage is the actual sales part. That's where we all wanna be. And when I start explaining things, I like to kind of start with the end in mind and work backwards, okay? We wanna sell products during the holidays. And we wanna use social media, obviously, to help us do that because that's what people are doing now, that's what businesses are using, that's what's effective, that's what's efficient and scalable, and that's what I'm an expert in. I don't know the other strategies, I don't know the other tactics, um, that's pretty much what I do, and so that's what we're gonna talk about. So we wanna drive sales during the holidays and we wanna use social media. Great, how do we get people there? You have option A, which is, okay, just make an offer. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. You can definitely hear that squeaking. Um, your first option is make an offer, which is just go on social media, make a poster video, and say, we're selling this, buy it. Okay? Now maybe, maybe if you do that, let me erase this very efficiently. So maybe if you do that, you just go on your Instagram, your Facebook, and you make an offer, and you have, you know, all these dots represent people, okay? We're all unique, special little dots. And that's all your customers, okay? And you make your offer, maybe one, two, or three actually make it through and buy something, right? Because a lot of the rest of them, like we said, overwhelmed, don't have time for this, don't know why I should buy from you, never really heard from you before, I'm not spending my money. So very, very low conversion when you just go on social media and you post something and try to sell, not enough. Now here's another method you could use, and this is your funnel. You could start by putting out content in what we call an awareness stage. So you could start by getting a series of videos, photos, maybe it's depending what you're selling, it's you explaining valuable aspects that your prospects, your customers would find valuable in that industry or about that product. It could be testimonials of actual customers using your products. It could be really anything that would be valuable or relevant to the people that are gonna use your products to show them that you're an expert, you're to be trusted, you can help them. Because really the most efficient way to get someone to pay you to solve a problem is to of course show them you can actually solve the problem, right? And so putting that sort of content out there is a crucial first step if you wanna start making holiday offers and build a holiday funnel. Now, once you've done that, okay, and bear with me, I'm gonna show you a really cool trick at the end of this, because I'm not gonna, I know what you're thinking already, you're going, I don't have time for that, like I'm not gonna start posting videos and then waiting and building. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you how to automate all this and turn it on like today. Okay, so first, you could choose to build awareness. So that's, you're getting all your little people that we mentioned, people are dots, okay? We're getting all your people into this awareness stage. They're watching your videos, they're watching your content, they're engaging with you, they're having fun, great. Now. A lot of those are gonna go through this stage and they're gonna stick around because you didn't sell them anything. You're just giving them value, right? So if I'm selling marketing and I give you a lot of value on marketing like I'm doing right now in this video, you're just gonna watch this. I'm not selling you anything, it's not intimidating, I'm just trying to help you out. You're gonna stick around, you're gonna to go to my next stage, okay? 
Now what you need to do is go, okay, we have a bunch of people consuming our content. That's fantastic. How do we capture those people? How do we do something with them? How do we see if they're serious right, about what it is that we do? Are they actual potential customers? Can we put them in a place we can actually sell to them? What do we gotta do? We need to generate leads. So that's when we go to the next stage in our funnel, lead gen. We need to now go out to that pool of people up here and go, okay, you saw our content, you got value from us, you know that we can help you, you know that you can trust us, you know that we're the best at what we do. Let's make you a little lead gen offer. Let's get you to exchange some sort of information for more information. Example, give me your email and phone number for this valuable ebook that's gonna go deeper on all those topics that you were just watching. Give me your name and email for, you know, to join our VIP club where you're gonna get 50% off all of our products for the month of December, right? Give me your email to enter this contest we're running where we're giving away, you know, a lifetime supply of our products to one lucky winner. Basically, what you're trying to do in the lead gen stage is of all the people that are watching your awareness stage content, you want certain ones of them to raise their hand and go, I am here, I'm watching, I'm interested. What else do you have for me? That's really what your lead gen stage is. And you can do that, like I said, with eBooks, free reports, free training, coupons, contests, anything that you can basically put to your audience and say, give me your information in exchange for more valuable information or more value so I can see which one of you are actually interested. So now maybe you have all these dots that were up here in your awareness stage, now maybe a bunch more do come through. Not all of them, okay, but a bunch more made it through. So now you have, okay, we have a bunch of people that know who we are, they're watching our content, they're watching our videos, they're consuming our content, fantastic. A few of them have raised their hand, actually a bunch of them have raised their hand and said, hey, I'm here, I want to know more about your business, I, I'm willing to give you my name and email because I like what you do and I want to be a part of it. Either I want to enter your contest or I want your ebook or I want your training, I'm in, I'm here. Then we make that final group of people an offer. Okay, that's where we now make our offer. Remember we started with, our goal was to make a sale, make an offer, actually get revenue, get someone to purchase something. Now's the time for that. Now that they've come through our awareness stage, watched our content, raised their hand and said, yes, I'm here, I want more of what you have. Now we sell to them. And there's a bunch of ways you can do that, okay? Now you can, for example, very simple, email. In that lead gen stage, you built a database of emails, okay? In some cases, we've built thousands of emails in less than a week running a contest, for example. And if you run your contest, and I'll do another video another day about, there might even be one on the YouTube channel already about doing a viral social contest, but for example, we worked with a golf club, we gave away a year of golf. Over a thousand people entered in a week, cost us nothing. I know now they're all local golfers because who would enter to win a year of golf at a local golf club? unless they were golfers in that city that could get to that golf club. So we had now had a thousand prospects. You could email that list you just built in your lead gen stage with your offer. Here's our great holiday offer. We know that you've been following us, you've been opting in for stuff, here's the great offer. And a lot more people will take you up on that because they're already in that funnel. They already know you, they're already opting in for stuff, they've given you their email. They're real legitimate prospects that have been qualified, right? You could, Okay, because of the advanced retargeting features of Facebook, you could retarget them with ads. You could retarget everybody who's watched your content, been to your website, opted in for your lead gen thing. All those people can get retargeted with actual ads now for that offer that you're doing, your holiday offer, your holiday sale. You can send it to all of them via ads, just to them, right? You could, just in general, post about it. Because by this point, a lot of people who have been consuming your content, opting in, they're now following you. They've opted in, you're building your audience along the way, in addition to your list and your leads and all that. So you could just now post about the content and at least now you're not just posting into a void of random people who have never engaged with you, don't know who you are, who you never give value to. Now you actually have a bunch of people who value you, your content, what you do, know who you are, right? The point of this is you wanna build a three-step funnel for your business for the holiday season. Now, I promised that I would show you a very easy way to do this, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. Let me erase this really quickly. Okay, so I promised that I would show you a very, very easy way. So, 
Now, all of that sounded really complicated. And if all of that, you're like, Darren, that's great. Where the hell do I start? That's a lot of work. I don't have time. It's already December. You can automate that entire process that I just showed you with a few simple Facebook ad campaigns. Literally within an hour, and I've done this live on stage, you could build out a series of Facebook ad campaigns that work together, that accomplish everything I just showed you. Building awareness, generating leads, and then converting those leads into sales automatically. You don't have to post any, any content on your pages, you don't have to respond to comments, you don't have to like, you don't have to follow, you don't have to do anything at all. Here's how you do it. I'm gonna go back to our three-step funnel. If you recall, the first step in our funnel was the awareness stage, right? So on Facebook, you can literally go into Facebook. You can literally go into Facebook. You can make a campaign. You optimize it for engagement, for traffic. It'll be in the awareness stage of their goals. You're gonna make a Facebook ad campaign. You're gonna throw three, four, five videos in there and you're gonna target it to everybody that could be a potential prospect in your area, anybody. So if you're selling dog food, sell it to, target that to everybody who has pets in your area. Okay, really quickly, you're gonna go in, you're gonna type, you're gonna say, okay, I'm selling pet food, target everybody with pets in my area with this campaign. In that campaign, you're gonna put one, two, three, four videos that are relevant. So again, if I'm selling dog food or pet food, I'm gonna do three videos related to pets, maybe how to choose the right food, how the wrong dog food might be making your dog sick, how to help your dog live longer by giving them this, whatever. I'm gonna make three really quick videos on my phone, throw them up in a campaign on Facebook, right? And I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna run it to everybody in my prospective market, whether it's local, international, whatever, great. Then, watch, pet food. Just so we know what I'm talking about for reference. So we're using the example right now of pretend you're a pet food business, okay? That's what you do. So you're doing your awareness stage ads like I just mentioned. Then we're gonna do our lead gen stage, okay? Now we're gonna make an offer that says, hey, you know what? We have a 10 page report on how to get your dog to live 30% longer by doing these 10 things, whatever it is, right? If you wanna learn how to do that, you're gonna down this report for your dog. And in that report, you're gonna highlight all the foods and the stuff and it's, it's gonna make you the expert, the authority. And all people have to do to get that is give you their email. Okay, so you're literally gonna go on Facebook, you're gonna make what they call a lead gen ad on Facebook. You don't need any website, you don't need nothing for this. Lead gen form, you're gonna make the ad, you're gonna put up your little ebook that you're gonna write, your little report, your PDF, whatever. You're gonna throw it up as a lead gen campaign and you're gonna retarget anyone who's watched your videos in your awareness stage, retarget them with that lead gen offer. So if they've seen your video, now they should see your offer for that report where they can opt in with their email, their number right on Facebook. And it's gonna build your list, give you emails, numbers, leads, fantastic, okay? Then once those work and those come in and you have people watching your video, leads are coming in, the last step is you have your offer. You're gonna put up a picture or a video, whatever you have, you can do on your phone, you can snap a quick pic and make your offer, whatever you're selling. Like, hey, we're doing 20% off all dog food brands on our website throughout the holidays. Be sure to check out our store. And you're gonna retarget that to all your leads via your Facebook ads. So you're literally gonna make a sales and conversion campaign is what we call it. So I can erase that a little bit. So sales slash conversion. So it's an actual campaign type again that will link to your website. So you're gonna make a few ads promoting what you're doing. It could already be a post on your, on your social media maybe. You're gonna throw it in here and you're gonna retarget everyone who opted in your lead gen stage. Now what you essentially have for the holidays is, you know, for your pet food business, whatever, it, this works for any business. You're gonna have three ad campaigns. One, two, three, okay? One campaign running a few videos just to your cold audience that are gonna be valuable to your customer. One, generating leads, giving them some sort of free report, guide, contest, something they can opt in for, and then retargeting all those people with your actual offer, the thing you wanna sell. You can build all three of these literally in an hour. Like I said, I've done it multiple times. I've done it on stage for people live. We have video of it. It's very easy and very quick to do. Now, the trick is in really determining what should the videos be, right? What's gonna resonate properly and pre-frame your prospects what should the lead gen offer be? Again, what are they gonna find very valuable? What are they gonna be willing to opt in for? How do we best position that so they do opt in at the highest possible rate? 
And then obviously, what do you sell them? What's the best offer you could come up with that's gonna align with all of this, right? That's the tricky part. But once you have that, the actual building of this is super quick. And the beauty is, all these things get built at the same time, get turned on at the same time, and what happens? For the whole holidays, and you can switch this out, it doesn't have to be just for the holidays, you can run this all year. We talk about the strategy all the time. But in this case, for the holidays, you're gonna have a funnel that you literally can switch on, all three of these go on, and all of a sudden you're generating awareness for your brand and business, engagement, audience, everything. Leads, building your list, getting names, emails in the door, and then sales, retargeting and actually driving traffic to the website where people are buying things and actually purchasing and spending money. And this is all automated. You could turn it on, go on vacation, right? Take your holiday vacation, you're done. We build this for every single client. Now we do some variation of this all year round. This is our three-step advertising funnel. We call it now, it's gone through a couple name variations, I'm gonna be honest. Right now, we're calling it conversion branding because we're building your brand, generating your leads while still converting and generating sales. It's not like one and then the other. It all happens at once. And this is the framework of which all advertising runs in the real world, right? And so this is what you need to learn how to replicate on a small scale in your business for the holidays. Think like this. This is the expert marketing stuff. There's enough people talking about the fluff. There's enough people trying to motivate you, giving these high level strategies and saying content, content, content. Well, that doesn't mean much if you can't structure it and you don't know what to do with it. So hopefully this is for the few you, for the few of you that actually stuck around and actually watched this. I know it's a lot, I know it's heavy, I know it's a lot of complicated crap basically, but it's important crap. It's the crap that makes you money and that's my favorite kind of crap, which is really weird. Let's edit that and just cut it out. Back to the point, <laughs> back to the point. This stuff really does matter, right? It really, really, really does matter. So if you wanna grow your business in the holidays and you wanna take advantage of the holiday rush and you're planning to advertise, you're gonna to wanna to put in place some sort of advertising funnel like this in your business. It can be done very, very quickly. We could even do it for you. You know how to reach out to me if you want to. Um, just go on our website. We have all kinds of services. We work with clients who do this all the time on a one-time basis, on a reoccurring monthly basis, whatever it is. Or just figure it out, do it on your own. I have plenty of videos that show you how to do it. Um, but either way, you need to do this for the holidays, okay? So that's how you use a sales funnel to really 10X your holiday marketing and get the most out of it, convert as many customers as possible and really drive those sales, right? While also building your brand and building your lead base, your database, your pipeline, which is important. Because after the holidays are done, even if you didn't sell all these people, at least you have thousands of new people that you can market to with the next offer, the next deal, the next promotion. Right, and so invaluable system in your business. If you don't have it, you're really missing out. So thank you guys so much again for watching this video. That is how you use funnels to help with your holiday marketing uh, this year. Okay, if you have any questions at all, reach out to us, www.suitsocial.com. There'll probably be links down below to learn more about what we do and how we can help. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget there's gonna be a new video dropping every single week. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.